Hello viewers, this is Wagner Ronald taking you through today's tutorial for a level math matrix paper 2 and this video we are going to talk about questions on projectile motion. Now this topic is still under mechanics and suitable for both students in senior 5 and senior 6. Now these are the very questions I left in the previous video and I believe by now you have already tried them out and ready to mark yourself and check your progress. So we shall start with question 1 and question 1 says, was, question 1 was got from UNEB 2015 paper 2 question 13 and says that a ball is projected from a point A and falls at a point B which is in level with A and at a distance of 160 meters from A. The greatest height of the ball attained is 40 meters. And they say find Roman 1, sorry part A, the angle and velocity at which the ball is projected and there is 10 marks. Then part B, the time taken for the ball to attain its greatest height. So such questions are easily done by making a sketch. So what we are going to do we are going to first make a sketch, but before we make a sketch, we shall first let theta to be the angle and u to be the velocity at which the ball is projected. So now let's make a sketch. So this is the sketch. I think you can see that this is the maximum height, which is 40 meters, and the range was 60 meters. Remember, they told us that this is horizontal. So o a from a it goes through sorry from O it goes through A to B and the initial velocity is U and theta is the angle and those are the values which they want as you can see here they say they want the angle and velocity at which the ball is projected therefore part A they want the value of theta and the value of U so we know that range is given by the formula 2u squared sine theta cos theta over g and well and now in the question we are say that it was said that the range is 160 so we shall equate this formula to 160 degrees the next is to substitute so when i substitute i'll come up with the when i take this one this side i'll come up with u squared sine theta cos theta equal to 80 g and call that equation one now the next equation will be on maximum height. We know that maximum height is given by the formula u sine theta everything squared over 2g and maximum height was 40 meters which so I shall equate the formula to 40 and when I cross multiply I'll come up with u squared sine squared theta being equal to 80g and that is equation 2 so we have two equations and two unknowns because g is already known as 9.8 but theta and you are unknown so what we do since they are rated by product we shall divide the two equations so we shall say equation 2 divided by equation 1 gives so I'll give you that for the left hand side it will be u squared sine squared theta over u squared sine theta cos theta which is this for the right hand side it will be eta g over eta g which is that and when I simplify you realize that u squared cancels this u squared will cancel with this and this one sine th squared will cancel with one sine sin theta so that remain with sine theta over cos theta which will give you tan theta and for this side the whole of this will cancel with the whole of that to give you this one now when i make theta the subject i'll come up with theta as 45 degrees so basically i think we have answered part of what is Require the one the angle and velocity and we have got the angle now before we go to the next slide Let's first see the mark allocations for what we have so far done So m1 is the substitution and b1 is for that equation 1 m1 is for this substitution and b1 is for that equation 2 then M1 is for the division, B1 for simplifying, and A1 is for the required angle.
so we have answered partly of part a which is the angle now we have to go and answer the velocity so we shall come and say that from equation 2 we saw that u squared sine squared theta is equal to 80 g so what we are going to do we are going to substitute for theta and for g to come up with that and when i simplify i'll come up with u as 39.5980 meters per second so basically that's what they wanted in part a for the velocity now we shall go to part b where they say they find the time taken for the ball to attain its greatest height so you come and say that time is given by time for maximum height is given by u sine theta over g so when i substitute for u and for theta and for g i'll come up with my t as 2.8571 seconds so basically that's what they wanted and now let's see how mass can be awarded So this M1 is for substitution and this M1 is for this square root and this A1 is for the final output which is the required velocity. Then here M1 is for substitution and A1 is for the output which is the required time. So basically that's how question 1 was answered. Now we shall go to question and question 2 came from your neb 2013 paper 2 question 14 and says a particle is projected with a speed of 36 meters per second at an angle of 40 degrees to the horizontal from a point 0 0.5 meters above the level ground it just clears a wall which is 70 meters on the horizontal plane from a point from the point of projection so not that's what this word just clears find part a roman one time taken for the particle to reach the wall then roman two the height of the walls i think let's then part b the maximum height reached by the particle from the point of projection so part a was eight months and part b was four Mass. Now the first thing to do is to make a sketch. So this is the sketch, the part the projected from a height of 0 0.5 meters, which is this at an angle of 40 degrees to the horizontal with a velocity of 36 meters per second, and it is it hits it just clears a wall which is 70 meters horizontally from the point of projection. Now, since this is 0 0.5, this will also be 0 0.5, and from here, TI will let it be Y. Now, remember, they want the time taken for the particle to reach the wall and the height of the wall. So, the height of the wall will be Y plus 0 0.5. Now, we shall start with Roman 1, which is the time taken for the particle to reach the wall. We know that time is equal to X over u cos theta where x is equal to this horizontal distance now our x is 70 and our theta is 40 and our u is 36 so when i substitute for all i come up with my t as 2.538 seconds so basically that's what they wanted in roman 1 now roman 2 they want the height of the wall in other words we have to first get the value of y so you come and say that y is equal to ut sine 40 minus a half gt squared. So when I substitute for t and for, for t and g, I'll come up with that. And when I simplify, I'll come up with my y as 27.17 meters. Now that I've got y, I can get the height of the wall by adding the two 27.17 plus. 0 0.5 to give me 27.67 meters so basically that was part a now shall go to part b where they want the maximum height reached by the particle from the point of projection so we know that y max is equal to u sine theta 
everything squared over 2g so theta is 40 degrees u is 36 and g is 9.8 so we shall come up with 27.2.32 meters so that will be the maximum height from the point of projection now that we have answered what they want let's see how much can be awarded So this M1 is for you to quote the formula for time and this M1 is for you to substitute and this A1 is for you to get the output. This M1 is for you to quote the formula for Y and this M1 is for you to substitute and this B1 is for you to get the value of Y and this M1 is for you to add the two in order to get the height which they want. Then this A1 is for the output. Now this M1 is for you to quote the formula and this M1 is for the numerator, this M1 is for the denominator and this A1 is for the output which is Y maths. So basically that's how the 12 maths could come about in this question. So I believe you have marked yourself and checked your progress. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave you with another set of questions and these questions are on the topic of equilibrium of a particle and this topic is still under mechanics and will be suitable for both students in senior 5 and senior 6. That brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching and be reminded that the solutions for the assignment left will be available in the next video. So if you have not yet subscribed, please click on the subscribe button below this video so that you will be able to receive an update when the next video with the solutions has been uploaded. Otherwise, if you, thank you for watching and if you know of any student who is not yet on this platform, please share the link of this video with them via social media platforms like Facebook and WhatsApp so that we can all benefit as a family.